Can you download a virtual sonic image and run on a network emulator like GNS3? This is the question I've been asked multiple times over the past few weeks. Answer is yes. Broadcom, who is the largest contributor to Sonic after Microsoft, have put a virtual Sonic image on their GitHub repository. In this video, I will show you how you can access that virtual Sonic image and how you can use GNS3 to build your own Sonic test topologies. Let's get started. <laughs> So this is where you can go to download a virtual sonic image. This is the GitHub Broadcom repository. And here you can see that you have a number of files here. What we are interested in is this readme file, this sonic vs312 gns3a file, and this th third one, which is the actual virtual sonic image in the zip format. This is only required if you, so this one covers how to install Virtual Sonic on a Linux machine. Uh, in this video, we are only focusing on the GNS3 installation. So the first three files are relevant. I've already downloaded these files in this folder. So I've got this readme file, GNS3 file, and you can see that I have uh, unzipped the folder, uh, sorry, unzipped the actual Virtual Sonic image. It is now a 2.44 GB image. So that's the actual image. <laughs> Let me show you the readme file. So this readme file covers some basic information. This is enterprise sonic distribution by Broadcom. You can run it on GNS3, etc. Uh, it talks about that certain features cannot be run, are not supported with virtual sonic. Uh, pretty standard stuff. I mean, these are the um, these are the features which require some data plane, and obviously, in a virtual virtual image, you do not have a data plane. So, QS, PBR, ACL, those type of features will not work. These are the features which are supported on the uh, VSonic image, virtual Sonic image. <laughs> okay. So, once you got this image, then next step is to uh, run it in GNS3. Now, in this video, I am not going to cover how you can install GNS3. Uh, if you do not know how to install GNS3, I would recommend that you go to this channel by David Bombal and look at the uh, appropriate video. So, David Bombal covers how you can install GNS3 using Linux or if you have Mac or if you have Windows, all those methods are covered uh, on this channel. And there are other plenty of other channels on YouTube who, who talks about how to install GNS3. So I will assume that you know how to install GNS3 and then I'll take it from there. So let's bring my GNS3 window here. So I am running a, I'm running 2.2.13 version of GNS3. I think latest one is 2.2.22 or something like that, uh, but it doesn't matter. Now what you need to do here is you need to go to file and you need to go you need to do import appliance and then you need to browse to your uh, browse to your uh, folder where you have this gns3 uh, where you have these vsonic files so select your gns3a file click open it will open another window uh, first option server type depends on your particular ins installation of gns3 in my case this third uh, option is is the right one so i select that next this is filled filled out by default and here you will need to identify you need to select where your uh, vsonic virtual sonic file is in my case it is all already uh, upload it to the server because I did it before this video. But in your case, you'll need to click on import. You need to go to your folder and select your unzipped Sonic VS file and click open. When you Once you do that, then it will start uploading uh, the file to your server. And then you will see something like this. Once it is uploaded, you select the file and click next. 
and it say would you like to install you say yes finish and there you go it's available very simple right now you can just start using it from here but i do not like this icon so what i do is i do right click and do configure template and go to the symbol option here you can choose different icons for your file so i will choose this circle blue one that's what i like and there we go i'll choose this icon it's here now i will open start a new project blank project let me call it three b routers sonic three dot three dot one dot two okay and now just simple drag and drop these switches now to connect them i will have to choose this connectivity tool so i click here and you can see that by default, the Sonic VS image or virtual Sonic image comes with 10 interfaces. You can change it, but I think in most cases, 10 should be fine. Uh, the first one is Ethernet 0 with a small e, ETH0. This is the management interface. So I would out of band management. So I would recommend don't use it. Use any of the other nine. So Ethernet 0. Come on. Ethernet 0 to. Ethernet 0, I will connect and Ethernet 1 to Ethernet 1. Okay, next thing I'll do is I will change these names. Uh, so I'll call it Spine, Leaf 1, and Leaf to and start. You will notice that your uh, CPU utilization, RAM utilization is going to increase when you start it. If you have a big topology, you'll see this CPU will really shoot up. So if you double click on the one of the router's icon, you will see, uh, you, you know, terminal window will open and you will see this Sonic uh, boot up process and here we now have sonic has booted up uh, the default username and password is here it's admin and your password there we go so this is the default sonic mode it's called click uh, my recommendation is you go to another mode which is called uh, industry standard cli mode but before you go there, you can see that we, we see a lot of log messages which are telling us that this router has started the um, zero touch provisioning process or ZTP process. So let's shut this down, let's disable this. So this is the command you do sudo ZTP disable hyphen Y. So once you issue this command, um, Sonic will restart its services. And as you can see, it says it, it can take between 30 to 120 seconds. Okay, so it's ready now. So I'll go to Sonic CLI mode. I like this mode because it is, you know, based on industry standard CLI. There's a lot of context sensitive help available here. If you do show space question mark, it will show you all your options. Um, if you do tab, it do you do command completion you can go to configuration mode there's interface mode you'll find it quite familiar and one thing i like is if you go into interface mode it shows you which interface you are in ethernet one for example in this case um okay let me quickly show you how you can change host name so command is host name and say I want to call it leaf1. You will see the prompt doesn't change uh, when you issue this command. 
you need to do one extra step you need to exit from this mode and get back and now the prompt will change show version so show version shows you that this is that you're running 3.1.2 uh, this is emulating a dell emc s5248 switch which is the leaf switch the trident 3 base switch the, this version is emulating a dell emc s5248 switch and then you can see there are multiple dockers running here expand that right you can see there are multiple dockers because sonic is a containerized um, containerized architecture okay um, well I, I can show you a lot more but i think um, i have recorded quite a lot of videos on specifically how to configure ospf or bgp or vxlan evpn and so on so i'll keep this video um, you know short and sweet uh, and just end with this command right mem this is the command to save your configuration so save your running configuration to startup configuration so that's how you can build a sonic topology using gns3 and you can do your testing on enterprise distribution uh, of sonic if you have any questions please let us know in the comment section uh, i will um, i will put all these links that i used you know where to download sonic etc in the description of this video but if you still have any question let us know in the comment section uh, otherwise i'll speak to you in my next video thank you Thank <music> you.